Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to another episode of Around the Grounds and today it's Motherwell vs Ross County hopefully we can redeem, redeem ourselves after last week's fiasco and also, also we've got guests with us today in the form of Jamie yes, Jamie is coming to Far Park for his first ever time he's going to lose his Far Park virginity and hopefully it's going to bring a win but he's, he's not seen us win since we pumped Dundee 3 0, which was three or four seasons ago. Now, it's time to get predictions in early. So, Jamie, what, what do you think the score will be? Ooh, 2 0 more for the win. 2 0 more. I like the sound of that. But I must say, I think we'll win 2 1. Because uh, I think we're going to bounce back. My dad thinks it'll be 1 0. He sends us that, sends us that uh, prediction. For a cheeky snacker, <laughs> I decided to go to my good old friend Gregory's <laughs> and get a sausage roll, which is quite soft at the moment, and a pink jammy. Hey. This is breakfast. Lunch and dinner. Ah, we have yeah, alighted yeah, from the cool. train! Yeah. So we might as well get the air train at 11.30. It is from uh, Livingston South West, Calder, Short, Bells Hill. Yeah, that one. You don't want to go to Bells Hill if you, if you can avoid it. I think we'll just get this one then, Jimmy. Alright. All right. There's lots of, lots of room. Do you want to fight for a table each? <laughs> Alright, I think we'll sit here then. Uh, no, I did not have a good time over there at Tyne Castle. I just meant to pass it. Alright, there it is. Walking down Gorgie Road to see the Mother Well. So we have just been informed by the train advisor that this train does not leave Carstairs until 12.47. No, why, why do you want to stay in Carstairs for 26 minutes? Why? And we're back on track, literally. Oh, 
these people going to Glasgow for the day when Motherwell was playing? Here we are, in Motherwell. Alright, Jamie, let's. Where are we off today, Jamie? Mickey the McMickey's! I've just got my usual uh, McDonald's meal. What have you got, Jamie? A uh, quarter pounder. A uh, medium quarter pounder meal with medium size. And what do you think? What drink? Sprite. Sprite? That's, that's quite different. <laughs> I think that's the first time on my channel anyone's ever had Sprite. So you get you get a medal for that, Jamie. And a hat <laughs> and a balloon. And a complimentary ticket for the mother of game. Destined for Newcastle. Why? Who got beat by Watford? Again. That's the third time this season. But yeah, and I will talk about the game later when the when there's a less busy platform. Better get a train. <laughs> Better get a seat quick, anyway. 
Right, see a few tables. Right. How, do you, how do you feel about getting a table, Jimmy? Yeah, um, not bad. Sorry for the rest of the people on this train. <laughs> they weren't rid of us. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Back in, back in the street. Might as well kill the time then. Right. <laughs> and we're back to where we started. <laughs> and we're off. This time. Jamie, what train are we getting next? Uh, the one to Aberdeen. Yep, bound for Aberdeen to Newcastle at the 18 11. As long as we actually get on the train, yeah, that's fine. We have alighted from train 4 of the day. Yeah. And we have alighted from train 4 of the day. Yeah. That's definitely the quickest it's ever taken me to get back. What what time is it, Jimmy? Um, it's what? You say the back seven. Yeah, it's 7 oh 07. That should be a new James Bond film. <laughs> 7 07. Yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway, on to the game. Motherwell, they just weren't at the races today. And we only came into the game in the last 10 minutes. Now, when you're against a side as good as Ross County in the league this season, the, you just can't afford to do that. And we went we went behind quite early on. 23. Aye, about 23 minutes or so. And then, yes, we created chances in both halves. But at half time, when you're 1 0 down, I really looked to the manager to make a change, maybe throw in an extra striker for a defender, go more attacking. But there was no attacking intent whatsoever. And we had three strikers on the bench. What's the point in having three strikers when you only use one of them? And then he bring, brings off Stevie Hamill, because I think Stevie Hamill picked up a wee knock, and he brought on Joe Chalmers. Last week, Joe Chalmers was an absolute bomb scare. Why would you even have him anywhere near the, the, the first 18 picked? It, it's, just, it's just beyond me. Oh. And... Yeah. <laughs> that was a complete waste of time, to be fair. Well, did you enjoy the trip, Jimmy? Yes. Yes. I Would you do it again? Yes. Therefore, it wasn't a waste of time. Well, I kind of think watching that football was terrible. Some yeah, of well, Colm's decisions. Yeah, that. Willie Colm as referee today as well. I, I, I was so pissed off with Mark McGee's decisions that I never even remembered that Willie Colm was the ref. Some of the, some of the decisions he's made... So, so many times the ball, the whole ball had crossed the line to go out for a throw or a goal kick and he just waved the play on. I mean, it, it's, not, it's not school rules, is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Play on! He's still got the ball. But, yeah, on the other hand, it's not a good result. Two games in, the, in a row we've lost. school rules, actually, because you were playing like fucking schoolboys, weren't you? 
Ah, school, school boy trending. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I shall see you in the next scene. Oh, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye, Jamie. Also, you've just seen a bit of history, because this was actually the first time Ross County has ever won at Fur Park. I was there. Uh, yeah, know. Jamie can say, he can proudly say he was there. I won't be. <laughs> well, Jamie, it's been a pleasure. Okay. I shall see you later. Bye. Bye.